Hello my girls, gays, and theys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Reese Spectrum, and I am a colorful drag queen from Glasgow, although I'm Steven once again. Sorry to disappoint you. But here we are back at it again with another re reacts, and we're continuing reacting to Repulse Drag Race Season 15, and hallelujah, praise the Lord, we are back to 90 minute episodes. Woohoo! As always, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good-ish. And also, if you would like to, follow my social media links all down below in the description box. With that, if you would like to see me react to the latest episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, Two Queens, One Joke, then keep on watching. Alright, here we go. The aftermath of Malaysia's elimination. How are they all taking it? She's like the true definition of a sister. We loved, we fought, but at the end of the day, we still kikied and we cut the fuck up. Absolutely. <laughs> and the fattest from Miami, Malaysia baby doll fox. Baby doll, baby doll, baby doll. She made her stories the first Miami queen, so, so good on her. I was only in the bottom because, like, design challenges. So I was only in the designs, you know, but now I'm officially a bottom bitch and, like, I think. You're the lip sync assassin now, girl. Bitch, this is my first time in the bottom and I thought I was going to be the one lip syncing. I don't feel like the girls see me as competition because I've been in the bottom so much. But listen, I've allowed my light to be dimmed up until this point. But baby, not no more. No more Mrs. Nice Espirit, okay? She's coming out to play. Let's go, bitches. Uh-oh. Selena's gonna be... Yeah. Watch everyone. Literally, Sasha winning three wins before anyone wins a second. She's way ahead of the game. Are we that shocked? Lucy thinks she should win every week. I'm definitely seeing me Here we go. to a win as like, okay, but you have to get the win next time. Like, I hear the judges telling me that I have what it takes to go all the way. I'm like right behind Sasha, who is technically the front runner, but I think I'm the front Technically, runner. there's no doubt about it. <laughs> Nobody wants to be second. How about we get out of drag? <laughs> but don't get too comfy because the queen is coming for her crown. Yes, God. Yes, God. <laughs> I said the queen. Not the beast. <gasps> beast. I'm sure Lucy and Lux have the most fire under their asses because they were both on the top and they both felt like they should have won. And, they and plus they have a water. touch of the delusion bug. Three girls away from the final four. Like, that's crazy motivation. No, not Joey J. <laughs> I'm a gay ass bitch. I'm Joey J. We're finally back to 60 minute episodes. Thank God. I think she she had a feeling she'd re she'd get that far, wouldn't she? Yeah. What is this wig that Lux is wearing? The Kelly wig? Um, I, she wasn't very far along when she announced her pregnancy. Did you can see the bump on the red carpet? I the the bump was very... I feel like you're in clear so when she did it. Like, when Beyonce was... Wore that outfit, the bump was very... <laughs> present. Oh my like god. Like oh, Gazmo, come on. Edrut, Edrut, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. You can go back and look. Hey, where's my boy? Hey, my boy. Oh, for God's sake, this battle of who's the second place again. Are you kidding me? 
talent gets you to the finale, not mind games. Well, depends on how you play the mind games. <laughs> Finally, we got a room meal. Oh, we've missed this. French and Saunders, but the key and peel to making comedy is to know when to cheat and when to charm. Cheech and Chong. Oh. <laughs> yeah, comedy duos. Oh, this little checkered suit. Harley Quinn. <laughs> I used to be a doctor too. I used to be a doctor too. Needs to have all the right moves. So, for today's mini challenge, we're going to celebrate a queer art. Hey, Grouchy. Harlem Vogue Ball. Okay. We're going to be voguing the house down. Warren Aja. Warren the cast of Legendary. They're not happy with this. No, it's a dip. It's a shablam. They came so hard for Anitra over the fucking, like, um, when she did You Better Watch That Fucking Duck. The cast of Legendary were not happy. I'm so into voguing right now. Okay, Vanessa Hudgens. I'm, I'm, I'm so into voguing right now. Okay, give them just what they want. Stop your crouching. Hey, Ray, Ray! Hey! Bitch. No phone here. Oh! She's gonna do the backflip. Hey! My cats are fighting. Jesus Christ. Okay! Fighting the first trick she did all season. Okay, something now. Oh, Jesus! What's she doing? Oh, she's rolling around on the floor. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, Marsha like kept her channels very hidden. Oh, come on, Sasha. Show them how it's done. Ah! Work your real hair, girl. Yes. Mother showing how it's done. Bitch, you can't compare to her. Oh. <laughs> She shot it down. <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on, mistress. Oh! She caught your hand like a stubble. She caught her hand like a stubble. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Uh uh, uh. This is just so much madness. <laughs> okay, she's gonna show you how it's done. Work. Okay, work. <laughs> I could watch her do this for hours. I'm not even joking. I'm no word of a lie. Ah! Are we done? Are we done? Yeah. Okay, Queen. Oofed. Category is stars, statements, and legends. What the hell? Oh, the ballroom trophy. Mm. The winner of today's mini challenge, snatching the grand prize trophy, is. Anitra! Obviously. Are we really surprised? Uh, oh, gee, oh, no, don't break the set, girl. Drag us <laughs> that Frida Kahlo, bro. Okay. Oh, they're getting their 
they're going to be like comedians. Comics, but I do love some sit down comedy. <laughs> That's not a good joke. This it's is the... funny. No. I'm oh, hi, Bruno. What you gonna do with all that junk inside that trunk? What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside my trunk? I'm gonna get you, get you drunk. Get you drunk off my lady hump. My hump. My hump. My lovely lady hump. Oh dear. Oh, is she, she going blind in there? She's not even... Marsha. Marsha has blackberry. What a what a nice way to get the branding of the of the drink out. Lux, you are London. Lux, you've got line. Oh <laughs> she's been Lucy. Oh dear. Lucy may struggle with this being with Lux. Oh my god! Weren't they fighting this morning? They were fighting this morning? Oh shit. What are the odds? It is. Selena got cherry. Anitra, you got mango. Oh, she's, she's with Sasha. Sasha. Okay. Mistress, pick your poison. I am praying to the drag gods that I will be with the good seed this time, bitch. I am ready for my redemption era. Mm. All about the eras. So she is with Marsha. Oh, my bestie. Ah. <laughs> uh. Now, Selena, you alone. Have cherry. You have a choice. You can choose to perform solo, or you can steal. <gasps> oh, that's shady. Oh my god, that is a fucking shady move. Bitch, you can throw someone under the bus with that move. Of course, of course. Two titties are better than one city. Right. <laughs> Which Ooh. queen do you choose to steal? I'll take mistress over here. <laughs> oh no. Oh, sorry, bestie. I know you want Poor Marsha's left on her own now. That means Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. You'll be working solo, solo, solo. Oh, dear. Uh, you having a stroke, girl? <laughs> Michelle Visage and our extra special guest judge, comedy sensation Ali Wong. Work, Ali Wong. Start your engines. Be the best drag queen. Win. Cheers to me. Out of all the challenges, this is the one that I'm the most nervous about. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, oh no, they're, they're all, they're all gonna butter a nature up just like, Hey girl, I love you. <laughs> Your hair looks nice today. you are starting and you don't have a good act, it's really gonna bomb. And if you go last and you don't have a good act, it's really gonna bomb. Alright, what's the stitch? So opening we have Marsha. Great. I know myself. If I were to go middle, I would be sitting in the chair, running it in my head over and over and over. Well, I guess, like, if Marsha's starting at all, she could be the host of the evening. The Divalicious Divas. Okay, I'm Divalicious Divas. Mm -hmm. like, plan of, like, yeah, hold your process of choosing us in Atlanta. I don't have to tell y'all nothing if I don't want to. Oh, keep me your cards close to your chest. <laughs> oh, thank God my Anitra tattoo was only temporary. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to plenty of shows that drag shows that just go on and on and on.
I know that Lucy wouldn't tell me that my bad joke is funny because we both want to win this challenge this week. I really think that the judges are. Yeah, I can see that because she. I see that Lucy would be brutally honest. Kind of like roasty. If I can find something to compliment about you, I can say, "Oh, you have to be so trim" or something like that, and we can come up with some type yeah. of a joke for you to say, like, "Goddamn tapeworm gets me every time." <laughs> Okay, I'm liking hmm. Lux Noir Paris, uh, Detroit, uh, London, London, Lux Noir, London. And this is that's like, not. I mean, Lucy, you're no. <laughs> I find it so have to call it bear choice in that. Lux are paired together because they are two of the thirstiest bitches left in the competition, and Maybe. they both would do anything to secure that win. So this will be very What's interesting to see how this plays yeah. out. Two bitches have been wanting like, puberty for me. Oh, puberty. <laughs> Are you still good? She's still going for people. Yeah, actually, bless her. Girl, I feel you completely. Yeah. I'm a little panicked. It feels almost as if my training wheels have been taken off and I'm riding my two wheeler for the first time. I'm either gonna I mean, get I can't relate because I've never rode a bike before. I can't do it. I can't do it. I was just thinking yeah. as far as like maybe a layup. I could thank Lucy and Lux and then you could get a bit however long you want and then we could do a bunch of this can bit. Hmm. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Feeling great right now. As soon as I like sat down, I started to notice my vision was getting really spotty in my right eye. Oh shit. Feels like if somebody were to just press on my. Is she okay? My entire brain would just like explode. Like how my head feels right now. Oh dear. Is that from all the popping and dipping and spinning and voguing you were doing? I guess walking that fucking duck is taking its toll on her eventually. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. I feel bad for Sasha because I'm not really as useful as I like normally would be. I'm gonna grab an aspirin, get your life. I'll be right back. She don't look too good. She's not really coming up with anything. And this is about teamwork, so I don't know, I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. Time for me to meet with the comedy coaches Michelle Visage and Ali Wong. I love her. Okay, this far coat is cute. A little intimidating. Hi, Marsha. I'm so excited to see what you have. I have a pretty solid chunk. Solid. Solid chunk. chunk. That stool. Ew. Ew. <laughs> All right, Marsha, let's go for it. Okay, so I'm opening the show. Oh shit! You're doing it alone, and you're opening the show. Mm -hmm. The big pressure. Exactly. <laughs> You're like, bitch, I did that first. I did that first. Bitch, I did that first. I did that first. Mother RuPaul. RuPaul reminds me of Cinderella. She's beautiful. She is blonde. She always has a little raven flying around her fixing her outfits. <laughs> true. Yeah, true. Yeah, she sat beside her two evil stepsisters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, Ross Matthews and Carson Cressley unfortunately could not be here tonight. They were recently cast in a remake of the Parent Trap. Now you've lost us. Like the other twins. Not so funny. You can think of something funnier there. Okay. Um, yeah. Something that doesn't make sense. Maybe going with something really serious. Like they're in rehearsal for Death of the Salesman. No. They're in rehearsal for Magic Mike. That is very funny. I could see it. And then do the log line. Like Magic Mike, they've lost the magic. <laughs> oh, there you go. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Lux's looks. looks. Never, but people tell me I'm funny all the time. But looks aren't everything, Lux. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, she fucking read her. Lucy, have you ever done Drag her. Yes, I do a lot of stand-up. Do you? Great. But I always do show up. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready to show us? Yeah. Yes. So, I heard that you have a sugar daddy? <gasps> a sugar daddy? Yeah, I actually do. He's yeah. really nice. I think he has a friend. He really has a thing for white girls with no rhythm. Oh. For white girls with what? 
No rhythm. Oh, no rhythm. Okay. Uh, I mean, you these, like, great lines you're saying, so just make sure to... Is this the reverse take on Shangela's rant? I don't have a sugar daddy. I've never had a sugar daddy. If I wanted a sugar daddy, yes, I'd probably go ahead and get one because I am what? Sick man. You can never have a sugar daddy because you are not that kind of girl. Maybe everything I've had, I've worked for it, and I've gotten myself. I've got myself in the ground. Yeah. Mm, you have no rhythm, Lucy? No. <laughs> we saw your earlier girl. I think I have rhythm. But do you really... You think you have everything. I don't mean to embarrass you in front of all of your fans. I want to like Lucy, but she's making a hard. <laughs> Very funny. I don't know if this is that one, Lucy. Okay. Is that okay to say? No, it's fine. Okay. If it got a laugh, baby, it's gonna stay. Oh yeah, no girl, of course. I hear he really has a thing for white girls with no rhythm. Again, I, I couldn't... You couldn't hear? Yeah, speak up, Lux. ...needs to work on slowing down. This is a group challenge. Like, Why go in no room? ...succeed together or we fail together. We're basically... Speak up and enunciate. Like, Tastes one and no one. Poor Selena doesn't stand a chance. God, the fucking bitch era, redemption era, win era, what era is next? Oh god, she's trailing. She's going on for a long joke. No punchline. Uh oh. All that ramble for that punchline? No, it wasn't even. No! It's not working! Yeah. Trim the fat. Delete it fat. You know what you're doing because these are your stories. You're just embellishing on them. So what you need to do tonight is work on those timings. I will stay up all night to make sure that I'm in the top. But if Selena flops, I am going to jump ship. Sorry, girl. I hope you have your floaty. I am going to make sure that I am swimming yeah. on the shore, honey. Good luck. Thank you so much. Like... She's not going to be dragged down to hell with her. <laughs> I am so excited. I was like, when is an Asian queen coming up? We had two, but... <laughs> One left. Luckily, I feel much better now. Aura. I got some, like, meds and pills in, so I'm good. I mean, this is RuPaul's fucking drag race, and I'm not laying down for nothing. So, Anitra, I heard about your ocular migraines. I can tell you that they're nothing to worry about. Okay. I'm so familiar with them. Dr. Quinn, medicine woman over here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Do you know what the direction you're gonna go in is? Like I was thinking like Drag's answer to Penn and Teller, which you know, you want one of them mute and the other one I don't know. That's that's gonna um, be something there. And then yeah, just go into Anitra's needs tweaked a little bit. When I sat down to write, the pain was so excruciating that all I could think about was my headache. Okay. So I kinda just ran with that. Okay. Okay. I'm dealing with the my with a migraine currently, bigger than Mistress and Lux's ego combined. Yes. It's an inside joke. Are we gonna get it? Uh, you never want to do an inside joke that we won't get. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We want a joke that we can all understand. I'm having no hope whatsoever for this. And then I have, but lucky for, my man, for any of them, really. Absolute... Not having any hope. Why is your man lucky if you can't get pet? Yeah. Uh, exit door this way. Okay. Maybe. When are you funny? When you make people laugh the most? I don't know. There are jokes in you, Anitra. Sasha can help you. You're a team. 
Yeah. You go down, she probably goes down. So it's yes. to look out for one another in this situation. So keep at it and see the bubbly side and turn it on for us tomorrow. I just want to pray that the physical is overwhelming her. Oh. I don't want us to be on the bottom. I'm worried about it, nature. I do. I'm worried too. <laughs> Not the, f not the twins troll. So how are we feeling? I feel good. I, I definitely kind of feel like I got like a little bit of a rough start. I'm feeling good today. It's pretty clear that none of the headache jokes weren't landing. So after the coaching uh, session, I did take a different direction and I feel much better about it today. Wait, I need to wear eye contacts and drag? Did not know that. It's a little thing you don't really pay attention to, do you? Start, I know that my shit has to be tight, and I'm just praying that Anitra's head is in the game, literally. So how are you guys feeling after everything? Really good. Yeah, I, I'm feeling super excited. Yeah, I'm very confident. So how are you and your partner doing, Marsha? <laughs> <laughs> Reading her because she's not got a partner. You know, part of it's just a little scary because I don't, I don't have anybody to like work off of, yeah. and I had to kind of, you know, come up with everything myself. Was that something yeah. that, like, made you nervous? I, I really tried to think of it like, okay, this is a blessing. This is an opportunity for me to kind of shine on my own. This is the first morning I woke up. But also, like, if you are on your own, if you bomb, you've got no one to fall back on, no one to pick you up, no one to fill in the blank. Like how the rest of them do. Like what the? Even worse for you Lux is taping herself to the eighth degree. Oh, look. Most of the reason why I use be fake sticky ombros when you shave your own. I always just say what's on my mind. Thank you. I think also it's different too when you're like born and raised with a whole bunch of Latinas because you know they cut up. Me and Mistress vibe. Like, we're both thick, we're both Latina, we have similar upbringings and perspectives, so I really relate to that. You know, also too with Latinas, it's like they also keep a lot of stuff hidden. That's like a big reason, I think why People have noticed that a lot of the times when um, people, the queens are doing their makeup, they always catch Selena with that, like, blank sort of face when she's got a full face and foundation on and her eyebrows are covered. Every time in a confessional, they catch her like that. I would always try to give my mom little ways to come back into my life. I had broke my ankle one time when I was performing at a brunch show. Oh, girl. Not another big girl breaking their ankle. My leg is like spaghetti. Oh no! Like, hey, I broke my ankle. I need you to come, like, to come help get my medical thing situated and, like, open my stuff. So she shows up and she goes, What the fuck are you wearing? Because I'm still in drag. Oh no. I'm in so much pain now. So I literally told her, Girl, please leave me alone and forget I even ever reach out to you. And, like, after that, I haven't talked to my mom in, like, years. Too right. I would I too when right. I was younger and as I grew up, I kind of always pictured that when I became an adult that we would work it out. But I think that some of the things my mom has said and done are just unforgivable. So I don't think that Gizmo. I would ever have a relationship with her. And I think like after that day, it just helped me realize that I can't keep putting myself out there to expect something for someone who doesn't see me as a normal human being. Exactly. But it was just such a if it's not if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Why try and change something that just can't be changed? If your mom's if your mom's set in her ways and just not gonna change how she feels, then why even bother trying and change it? All right, with the sixty minute episodes, we're probably getting longer runways. Hello. Mamaru wearing another short, short dress, showing off her legs.
And if you got Fonta. Welcome to the Ah, I love that. That's a good joke. I've never heard that one before. I try to get jalapeno, man. Mid. I can relate to that. She's so dumb. Come on, rip her to shreds. <laughs> All right, here we go. Time to see who's gonna make me laugh. Oh, hey, Calix. All right, Marsha. Oh, she looks cute. Oh my gosh, look at these faces. I love the dress, it's cute. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I'm sort of a newer drag queen, so being here has felt a lot like puberty to me. You know, my, my body is changing. I'm, re I'm like discovering a lot of insecurities that I didn't know that I had. But guess what? I'm finally a B cup! <laughs> <laughs> but yes, another journey that I've really been going on since I've been here is with my makeup. When I got here, We'll say, uh, I wasn't necessarily doing drag per se, uh, I was more enhancing my natural beauty. Yeah, and everybody at home kept mm. telling me how pretty I was, which begs the question, where were you when you realized your entire hometown was lying to you? Oh! Yeah, uh. I was on television. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah. I don't know. A round of applause for the judges. This table of icons. You may notice that uh, Ross and Carson are not up there tonight. Unfortunately, they could not be here. They are filming Die Hard 20 down the street. Yeah, yeah. exactly what I meant. She loves the magic made joke. University in Hollywood. But you take what you can get. Um, on the judges panel, we have Ursula the Sea Witch, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Madison. You're well, Melissa McCarthy is playing her now. Really nervous. Just had the trailer for a little more because it came out today. When I say these girls, I do mean myself. I am very nervous around you. Uh, and with that, I think that's my time. Uh, Y'all have been an incredible audience, so welcoming, and it is part of my job as the show opener to introduce our next pair of girls. These two are some of my closest. I do feel for Marsha because she was like she got the short end of the stick. Short. Place, but short straw. Rotted garbage people. <laughs> yeah, Lux Noir London and Lucy Laduca. Thank you all so much. Oh, God bless her. She tried her hardest. Oh. You know, Lucy, I'm sure nobody's ever told you this, but you have really nice teeth. Thank you. How do you keep them so white? I whiten them. Oh my god, I didn't think you could get any whiter. Oh wow. Well. Okay, here's how. This is uh. what you take the white strips, okay? Now those pesky directions will tell you 30 minutes. Forget it. Put them on. Babe, you go to bed. Oh yeah. What? Yeah. Eight you go to sleep with them on? Wake up and your teeth are gonna be white. They'll be on your pillow, but they will be white! <laughs> How white do they get? Oh, girl, they get so white, they put mayonnaise on everything. <laughs> oh, honey, I bet they get so white, they say, Can I speak to the manager, please? Okay. They get so white, they find my comedy funny. <laughs> I know that's white. <laughs> I know that's white. Okay. It's good. I can say when it's good. I mean, I don't yeah. Like it, now, Lexi, I don't mean to embarrass you in front of all of your fan, but <laughs> I Shade. heard a nasty rumor that you might have a sugar daddy. A sugar daddy? <gasps> Actually, I do. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> so sweet, and I hear you have a friend. Wink, wink. Oh, sweetheart, listen. If I wanted a sugar, sugar daddy, daddy, I could probably, probably go. Get this number from you, right? Oh yeah, girl. Oh. No. Of course. All right, listen, we gotta get out of here, okay? I am late for my lobotomy. <laughs> Our next duo consists of a legend, an icon. See, it was 
It was not like bust my guts funny. It was not a gut buster funny, but it was hee hee funny. It was hee hee funny. No, ha ha ha. Oh, were they high already? Okay. <laughs> My name is Anitra. I'm from Sin City, Las Vegas. So that means that I have a venereal disease and I can show you a great time. Okay. And now, some canned bits. You know, sex is a misdemeanor. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The more you miss, the meaner you get. Oh. Um. <laughs> Why did it? You better have a good hand. Why did they sound like me West? Why don't you come on up and? F Why don't you come on up and f me in the ass sometime? <laughs> okay. No. Oh, y'all wanted a twist, eh? Come on, season six, let's get sexy! Yeah. They're talking over each other, what is going on here? <sighs> They're not getting a lot of laughs. No. Dead air in there. It's so weird seeing Sasha Baum. You know, it's like we're lazy, we're forgettable, yeah. we're get the munchies, yeah. we're forgetful. Wait. This is just. I'm feeling a little bad for him at this point. God, this bit is lasting longer than Evie Oddly's dick. Oh, yeah, I went there. Oh, well, at least you got a laugh. Let's just go for it. <laughs> Always leave him laughing. Um, what we really want to talk about is. Michelle's huge balls. What? So, Michelle Visage's balls are so big, she lovingly refers to them as Latrice and Eureka. <laughs> okay. Oh. Cold. Like Latrice and Eureka, Michelle's balls have lasted an entire season of Drag Race. Oh! Our time for you is over. Welcome to the stage, our next two divas. Oh, and Sasha, you're lucky you're still respected. Because if you weren't, <laughs> Latrice and Eureka would be coming for that ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mistress, okay. as a juicy, thick Latina, it's hard to get a man sometimes. They can handle all this. One time I don't think they can handle this. I was dressed as a pregnant Mrs. Claus. As a who? Yeah, I had this prosthetic belly. It was out to, like, here. <laughs> <laughs> Her belly. Five pieces of train across the way. He was hairy and veiny, and he was, like, size six foot five. He came over to me, right? He said, so, I want to feel that baby. From the inside. Oh, you're nasty. You're nasty. I run home, I throw my shoes off, I take my hip pads off, right? You keep the belly on, bitch. Duh, you can't get pregnant twice. <laughs> so I text Trey, I said, meet me in the communal laundry room downstairs, okay? I put on my chunk glass, I run over, I open the door. <gasps> Trey is bent over the dryer on its final spin cycle. Oh, man. No, man. <laughs> It does seem like um, Selena is running shit and Mistress is just standing in the side. I grab my highest pair of platform stiletto heels, put them on, I kick open the door. <gasps> He's vanished. It was just me, my unborn child, and a hot, steamy load of laundry. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't even entertain trade and drive. I was craving a little Mexican, so I hopped on the hookup apps to go shopping. You know, the yellow Facebook. Great girl. <laughs> I found this sickening poppy girl. He was hairy, veiny, and six foot five. He sounds 
Is it the same guy? Is it the same guy they're talking about? my normal routine before trade comes over. I dim the lights. I put on some seductive music. Wow, wow. Chicka, wow, wow. Chicka, wow, wow. It's like the longest wank in the world before you eventually get to the climax. Just bish bash bosh, just get it done. It's like edging. Jesus. Uh, it was going so well and then Mistress took the reins. <laughs> and yeah, called it. It was the same guy. Well, that was interesting. Hmm. Rip her to shreds. Here we go. Oh my god. Miss NYC. Marsha, 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 so move over, sis. It's Jan. And of course, I'm crying because this is supposed to be my moment. This is my moment. And in pain and funny at the same time. That's drag, mama. Yo, these pageants can be so cutthroat. Yes. Oh. Yola Swamp really got a makeover. What in the Ookie Spooky Lucy Baduki? Ookie Spooky Lucy Babaduki. Okay. Nice to see Lucy in this diff in a different light, so. Bruno is, Bruno is like, that's, that's, not, that's my look. They stole my look. Oh, let me show the face when RuPaul actually wore it. Work. This is RuPaul in her uh, gender fuckery era. <laughs> oh, work. This is how you wear denim, sexy. And yet it fucking looks amazing on her. I shred what I shred. I shred what I shred. If you stay shreddy, you ain't got to get shreddy. Okay. This shredded cat suit, my concept is a lotus shredding through the mud and coming out to blossom on top of the lake. It's cute. It's cute. I like the colors. represent the lotus and I'm giving you green to represent the water and the murkiness of it. Green? Where's green? Only blossom when they're in muddy or dirty waters. Looks like black to me. Black pink in your area. For her pleasure. Oh. Yes. This is this is something a tribute to her mom. She was stunning. Yes. I heard that uh, behind the scenes, tea the Michelle was very dismissive of that look, which was what. Oh. With just a hit of Texas track. I look so fierce. I, I like it. I like that. This is cute. Mm-hmm. I like that one. one in the pink and two, two in the bottle. <laughs> Welcome, queens. It's time for the judges' critiques. No safe queens. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. So, Marsha, you had to start the show. It's a tough gig to do. You it sure is. Laughs, but most of it kind of just started to fall flat. I think it just wasn't really funny enough. Okay. But you clearly have such 
a great stage presence. You just forgot to do that log line for the movie to explain why you picked Die Hard 20. Like, if they could have been like, oh, yeah. and Ross are starring in Top Gun 3. Just the volleyball scene. <laughs> Tonight on the runway, though, I love this look. Lucy did it not too long ago. So oh, yeah, she I did. I would have been a crafty queen and thought of something else to do. When there are seven girls left, it has to be more. More, more, more. Up next, Lucy LaDuca. So you can get Lucy. What I about this look is that this is very different for you. It's creepy and rum stokery. It's just so good. In the comedy challenge, you clearly have such a strong stage presence. And that was clear from the jump. And so we had a lot of high expectations. And you really rose to the challenge. It was Thank really great. You. Girl, those white jokes were so funny to me, honey. I almost fell out of my skin. <laughs> you did a really good job tonight. All right, up next, Lux, you are London. You are so funny. Thank and you. like we had talked yesterday about, because I couldn't hear some of the words you were saying. Did she work with her enunciation? Yeah, she did. You were wonderful together. I thought your timing was good. I thought you were listening to what Lucy was saying. You really did a wonderful job, Lux. You came here to win this competition, didn't you? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love this look. I love the way it's a homage to the mother. You get it. Let me just talk about this look. I'm going to try to talk about it without crying, okay? Oh, mother. I wore this look in 1986. And it just brings back so many great memories for me because, you know, I was just freak running around New York City. And <laughs> if you would ask me if, if I'd be sitting in this seat hosting a television show back then, you know what my answer would have been? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, it, it, it all oh, bless. That's two sweet moments she's had with, with Lux now. She told that shit up. This is why in the comedy challenge, I was like, girl, nah. Mm -mm. I'm trying to rely on this stoner stuff, honey. Yeah, there was a lot of lulls. Stop relying on that ganja. It's really hard to make new Michelle Visage balls and dick jokes. And you made fresh ones that were really good. But that, that yeah. was probably like the peak of the performance. I, I just wanted more of that. And you have it in you. You're a very naturally funny queen. You Sasha Colby girl, I want more from you. See, that's the thing. Like, we know Sasha Colby. Like, we know her legendary status. So we expect a lot from her. We're scared. And I felt like Sasha was doing the heavy lifting. So I wanted more confidence. Which is weird. Because you, when you come out here and drag, you're powerful. Michelle's mm -hmm. absolutely right. The confidence you have on the runway. And you have so much confidence on this runway. She does. Yours for the taking throughout your life. But I am really enjoying this look, honey. It gives me body. And I'm a body girl. And I like the oh, way... Oh, yes. Yes, do that again. Of course you are, Maddie. You're, you're, te you're a body girl. Oh. Mm. Up next, Selena's titty. Let's talk about the challenge. I want to okay. give credit because you got to the storyline quicker. I thought it was funny. I thought the execution was good. I think you look absolutely beautiful. And I love the story that you're telling. I think I might have been even more excited about this look had it just been a dress made from that blanket and you had really made it apparently Michelle was like very dismissive of the look that we've truly never seen on this runway before. so there's something that they cut out that she she was just like yeah whatever Isabel Brooks this look tonight stunning it's burnt up Marilyn Monroe it's just fun it's drag I love the way that you as a big girl come out and you serve the girls honey letting people know honey that we think girls are gorgeously burnt up too, okay? Yes. You also came along they can be beautiful. You we were doing the rehearsal. You were not interacting with Selena that much, but on the day, you guys were really bouncing off of each other. I felt like you were two preachers delivering the unholiest of sermons. <laughs> <laughs> doing something unholy. <laughs> While you untuck in the workroom, the judges and I will deliberate. Right now, just between us coral friends, mm -hmm. what do you think? Let's start with Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. The first time since episode two, I think. Open up the show and she this is us so getting it can really be an advantage. deliberations. She did fine, but for this competition at this point, you have to do great. The thing is, she's very green when it comes to drag, and a lot of 
what she learned in theater school needs to be dragged up. All right, let's move on to Lucy Leducum. In the challenge, she was kind of holding court because she's the one with the most experience in this between her and Lux. And I felt very, very comfortable and confident with her. I think they could have been tighter as a whole. Tighter as a whole. As a whole. <laughs> tighter than my whole. Mm -hmm. Lux Noir London, every time I see her, she always wows me. I thought she was the most improved out of the bunch from yesterday. And on the runway, that look was just smart. Not because it's kissing up to you, which, hey, I'm always here for. <laughs> yeah. Michelle has certainly no made it. Uh, she certainly has no qualms about kissing RuPaul's ass. Let's talk about Sasha Colby. Somehow, the only joke I can remember is... Michelle's balls being named Eureka and Latrice. That was, <laughs> his, which is, which that was his talkest joke, joke, so yeah. <laughs> that joke was great, but then it's kind of a bad sign because I don't really remember the rest of the set. Honey, she tears those looks up every time. Yeah. But can you always Every look that Sasha wore on the runway has been, this season has been killer. Especially when you've got a body like hers to carry it off as well. She kills it out here. She's got the best walk in this entire competition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the challenge, though, she got so lost in the situation that I don't remember any funny part of her skin. The pot reference thing really threw us into a different direction. It also never went anywhere. And it never went anywhere. Never went anywhere. Never anything. All right, let's talk about I mean, it never went anywhere with Lagasha, did it? A great deal. When Michelle and I watched the rehearsal, we sat through like two presidential administrations. If it ain't green. <laughs> because if it ain't green, huh, I'm not interested. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. you really cut out a lot and got to the, the juicy meat of the story sooner. I could not have seen yeah. the dress that she was wearing underneath that jacket. She looked like she was wrapped up in bandages. Oh dear. Let's move on to her scene partner, Mistress. I thought they worked very well together. I thought they lifted one another up. But the story took a little bit too long for me. And you can see her setting it up to get to the punchline at the end. You know, the real meat of that story is that she just starts giving head to a dude. And one of her rhinestones is on the tip. Yeah. So she could have started the story right then and there. But she still clearly... It didn't really make any sense with that. She's just not quite there yet. I mean, I, I got the end part of the story before they even told us the end of the story. Alrighty. Well done, Step girls. To the back of the stage. Thank you so much. Gracias. Gracias. Lucy Laduca and Lux Noir London. Tonight, you had the white stuff. Congratulations, <laughs> <laughs> you are both the winners of this week's challenge. Well done. You've each won a cash prize of $5,000. Lucy can calm the fuck down now. She got another win. You can cool down a bit now that you've got another win, so you're good. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. We needed more, more, more. Sasha Colby. To be blunt, your stoner comedy was a little half baked. These puns. Anitra, you shredded the runway, but your comedy had some holes in it. Sasha Colby. You are safe. My god, that's Sasha's first time this season Sasha. being in the bottom three ever. Marsha, Anitra, I'm sorry, my oh, dears, but bitch. You are up for elimination. This is the first time I am in the bottom two. Like, it's the first time either of them are in the bottom two. I just like try to keep myself calm. I know that Anitra is one of the best performers in this competition. And Don't set yourself Anitra short, Marsha. You've got some performance chops on you too. We've, we've made it be. Mm -hmm. Seen it very clearly in our lipstick like against Malaysia. Save yourself from elimination. The time has come. All right. Did you lip sync? We're about to get the best oh. lip sync of the season. Life. Are we? Get ready, Marsha. I'm about to show you who's boss, bitch. 
Oh. Is that the song? Oh, I see what she did there. Boss bitch, okay. Let's get ready to be slayed. Ain't trying to be cool like you. Wobbling around in your high heel shoes. I actually did a driver video performance of this on my YouTube channel. Link it somewhere here, you can check it after this. The whole damn cake and the cherry on top. She got the bottom of a good girl. Can't end the club trying to fight the bar. Okay, they're both giving it very, like, level pegging. Oh! What the? What, the exorcist is going on? Ah, uh, Free Willy! <laughs> she fucking jumped over her. Oh no, Willy didn't make it, and he crushed our boy! Ugh, what a mess. Okay, come on Anitra. Marsha's Marcia, like holding her own, like she's, she's, given, she's not letting her go down easy. Marsh has put up a good fight. Yep, take off the tip, take off the tip, yeah. Yeah, I took it in a ring for it. <laughs> yes. This is the best lipstick of the season, period. Oh, there's, there's Marsh is walking that fucking duck. Shine bright, then I put a tea and what I like. I'm a boss. I'm a bitch and I'm a boss, I'm a shine like boss. <laughs> this song just makes you feel so cunning. What was that? <sighs> Come on, girls. One last bet. No. Yes! Marsha's gonna split and fucking need you to draw. They're eating this. They're eating this up. Even the Michelle's like, yes! Fuck yes, bitches. That is how you do it. That's how you do it! Ladies, I've made my decision. Alicia wasn't lying when she said she was gonna wear our pussies out, right? Anitra, Chantel, you stay. Oh, I really wanted it to be a double Chante. I know since there's 16 queens this season, we can't have any double Chantes. There's no room to fill. Of the Brady Bunch big, reference. Big, big star. And they knew that it was much more than a hunch. Away. Thank you for helping me evolve who I was. Thank you so much to all of you, really. Marsha should be so proud of herself. She Marshall. showed the fuck up. Forget the nose. Ow. My heart. Oh, oh we love you, Marsha. She should be. She did so well. Well, she's now got the longest safe streak. Move over, Jan. It's Marsha. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Move over, sis. It's Jan. I'm the prettiest girl in the world. There's no choice but to stand. She's pretty. She's popular. She's smart. She's talented. Ariana Grande knows who I am now, so I mean that's worth two hundred thousand dollars. T. She's on the PR list for Ariana Beauty now. Hey man. Now we're down to the final six. So Sasha get three wins. Lucy and Lux have two. This just has one. And he tries one. So he gets the only one without one. All right, that was episode eleven of RuPaul's Drag Race season fifteen. And by God, what a chaotic ride it was for me to film my reaction to it. So. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed it. Now, you know what it is. Let's go on to Untucked. Okay. This is your moment. Have it. This is Untucked. Backstage of the competition to become America's next drag superstar. Girl, if you're not watching Untucked, you're only getting half the story. Ladies, I think we've heard enough. While you untuck in the workroom, the judges and I will deliberate. You may leave the stage. Queen's walking. 
Oh, so there were no safe, there was no safe queens, so all seven of them went at the same like time. I kind of knocked it out of the park. I did a really good job in the comedy challenge. And I tore the runway to shreds. I feel like it's going to be a really good week for me. I am and it was, because you won. I'm lip syncing. I'm really just trying to gather my thoughts and trying to stay home. Look, I got good critiques. Maybe they didn't like my outfit, but the performance critiques top notch, honey. I know it's like for the first time in the past couple of episodes, Selena's in the top for once. Yay! Happy for her. Oh. You know we've been here a long time because all of us are going. <laughs> Can someone open this delicious bubbly for me? Yeah. Ooh. So how is everyone feeling after the critique? That was the first time that we were all on the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Lux and I got good critiques. I'm feeling really good about our performance. Yeah. And for one, she's not delusional because it's valid. Competition planning on excelling at comedic challenges. Comedy is not something that I consider in my wheelhouse. I do now because I did a good job. Well, me and Lucy, it was very collaborative. You have really nice teeth. How do you keep them so white? I whiten them. Oh my God, I didn't think you could get any whiter. <laughs> get any whiter. I'm very proud that I got through this challenge with rave reviews. Because, bitch, weren't you already each other the other day when we were at the table? No. Oh. I loved wearing my look. I felt really, really beautiful in it. Why weren't you pregnant, though? Um, I she wasn't very far along when she announced her pregnancy. You can see the bump on the red carpet. I the orange. It, it was quite a lot of prominent. Like yeah. Right now and like, no, I'm in, I'm not insulting you're insulting me. Pregnancy. Are you insulting Beyonce? All I said was that she should have had a pregnancy belly. I stand by what I said, but however. Me and I said, Lucy I said. do share a very similar line of comedy, and we joke around all the time. So when I got Lucy as a partner, I was not worried. I think that us uh, kind of going back and forth that morning in the workroom was just us warming up. Yeah. Because we were volleying back and forth real quick. Let's consider it that. I thought that Selena and I did very, very well. The audience was loving it. One time I was yeah. at a Christmas party, and I was dressed as a... I was thinking, like... I was more liking Selena's part than Mistress's part. He came over to me, right? He said, I want to feel that baby from the inside. Oh. You can't get pregnant twice. I just feel like we were ballsy by doing like an individual story each. Yeah. Yeah. So like that was really hard to try to fit that all in that five minutes. And I had to be conscious of giving her space to tell her story within our time limit. Yeah. Yeah. I say from the girls I think are in the bottom, y'all are all fucking sick me, so I'm about to see a little show. Hopefully, the bottom are not going to be me. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and I, oh. Anitra and Sasha, how are y'all feeling? I mean, it's not like a great feeling to hear, we want to see more confidence because they know that I have it, and I know that I have it. We know you do. I mean, you made it very clear in episode one. I think it's definitely possible. If I had to say, the two who I think would be in the bottom tonight would have to be Marsha and maybe Anitra. Only because they just said that it wasn't super amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You, mm. you're right. yeah I'm just keeping it real. But there was a lot of room for something to go wrong because you were by mm. yourself. True. Um, oh, Marsha. Really scary coming into this because this was like the challenge that I was like not looking forward to at all. Having to do it by myself was really yeah, scary. I'd be I'd be the same. Like the one that, I challenge that I'd be scared to do would be the comedy one because it's be like my first time in the daunting as hell. And the prospect of lip syncing against either you or you is just like really fucking crazy. Obviously, I'm going to turn it out and pray for like a double chante. <laughs> if only that was the case. If only we got one. Just like listening to like the critiques that they were giving you, it was just so hopeful. Like you have this confidence in you and we just want to like see more of it. 
from me. They were like, oh, well, this is all you have. I think the reason that I'm just so emotional is because, mm -hmm. like, you never think it's going to happen this quickly to, like, be in this space. And it's just been, like, a really amazing experience. And, like, I'm just going to miss it if this is my last day here. I've made such incredible connections with every single one of you. <laughs> it's just, like, it's crazy to think that. Don't think of it that way. Yeah, don't go down without a fight. She could be still be watching. Oh my god! It's Mr. Sun's drag mother! My drag mother, Chevelle Brooks, was the first big girl to ever win a national title that was kind of meant for the skinny girls. She and looks she stunning. Barriers, and she made history the night she won Miss USA. I'm so happy that I am your mother and you chose me to be a mother figure in your life. Aww. And go down there and make me proud. Come home the winner. Because I told you before you left here, do not go down there embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> you have a name to uphold now. It's that Brooks legacy. And they told me, it's a girl around here that's saying she your daughter. And I'm like, what? She my daughter. You bullied me into being your daughter. <laughs> this is the type of bullying that I love. That does sound like mistress. I got to know your life and your history and your growing up. And I'm glad that I got to instill my motherly love and instincts on you. And look at where it brought you today. Oh. I can't express to you enough how blessed that I am to be able to call you my daughter. You the first Houston girl to do it. Do it, Jess! Yes. All right, I love you, baby girl. Right on the plan, okay? Mistress. No. Oh. I've never met Mistress prior to this competition, but her drag mama, Chevelle Brooks, is one of my best friends in the entire world. Just seeing Aww. her face on the screen, my heart is melting. So nice to see her face. That's so sweet. I just love her so much. Just to hear someone who has basically done what I want to do and what I envision myself tell me they're so proud of me just means so much to me because she knows what I've been through, not only in drag, but like the entirety of everything. Like, I've never felt the love of a mother. I've never had family there. And this woman gave me everything. Yes. I came here focused and like I'm gonna carry on her legacy because that's one of the baddest bitches in the business, period. That's why you did that. So important to me. Should be so proud of you. People like that who really told me like you are valuable to society and what people think about you or what you've been taught to believe of yourself isn't true. I never thought that as a plus size Mexican person who is flamboyant as fuck. I never thought I would be a root girl. I never thought I would be a successful drag queen. Well, look at you now. Look at you now, girl. Because of people like that is just mind-boggling. Um, she's going to be really proud. She is. Thank you. Oh, there's Allie. Oh, my God. The outfit. Okay, legs. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Wong is a successful Asian artist. We don't have enough of that out here. So Ali Wong is definitely a bad bitch to me. I'm a huge She's fan a bad bitch just show. like so you are. I heard that it started off with 15. 16, 16 actually. 16. Yeah. But it was basically 15 because two girls are sharing one brain cell. The twins. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys had a lot of like inner saboteur talks? Girl, lots, lots, lots. lots and lots, lots right of them. Here. <laughs> I was telling you, so we're gonna uh, shrink our dresses down for your daughters. <laughs> oh my gosh! Please. Not Lucy looking like the fucking mix of the Babadook and the sleep paralysis demon. Just whenever their father is just in his boxer briefs, they're always like, oh, daddy's in the pit crew today. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. It. It's a fucking entertaining ass show and the lip syncs. Like, I'm so See, the fact that, like, her kids find drag so entertaining, and yet some people in certain cities and countries in America think that drag is damaging to their children, more so than guns. What does that tell you? 
and get to like your voice as authentically as you can. So, and you guys all clearly have like a very strong point of view. What are you guys most nervous about in terms of like your lives changing? What are you most excited about or nervous about? I mean, you're most excited about the money. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, Gotta get that money. Shave for the UK Queens, we can't get money. What would be like the dream gig? Uh, I would love to be president. What? <laughs> First rule of order, you better walk that fucking duck in the White House. I mean, I live in LA, so there's a lot of quinoa. But because I also eat a lot of THC, there's also a lot of sugar and goldfish at midnight. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of like serums. Um, you know, I love getting cummed on on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all have a good facial? Oh, Justin, not again. Oh, Selena's brother! Okay, Selena's brother's kind of cute. But... Mom and Dad, please welcome to the stage. B boy. B boy. <laughs> and you recovered head to toe and feet. All work. <laughs> I mean, I've been there too. I used to use one of my t-shirts as a wig, like, to wrap around my head. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, Selena's pants and sister. I love this. And I can't wait for you to come home. Miss you. How stunning is Lita's sister? I love you so much and I miss you. I'm glad that you're in the show. See you soon. Yee runs in the STD family. Wait, why is she good with it? Yeah, she is. She is a bad bitch. She looks fierce. She's like. She's so proud of you. So nice you it out. Yeah, absolutely. Five minute warning, five minutes. Okay. Oh, get your game face on, girls. Ooh. Marshall. <laughs> Marshalls, Marshalls, Marshalls. Into focus. Right now, I am nervous, but I'm channeling that into determination. The resting bitch face is gone. The boss bitch face is here. Okay, boss bitch, don't you care? I need um, to put my underwear on. Are you gonna turn it out? You know I am, girl. Welcome back, ladies. I've made some decisions. Marsha, Anitra, the time has come. I really would have preferred this to be a double shanty, but if I had to choose one of them to stay, obviously I would choose Anitra. Because I think Anitra has a lot more to give. Oh, please.
I don't feel sad. I really don't. I just, I feel like I had a really positive experience. She has a good mentality to have. Really good honor. Which is fierce. I'm glad that if I left, I mean, like they did say, the best losing is a new wedding. Competition, I was significant enough to have made it entertaining. Oh, uh, she's such a cutie so patootie. The letters. Oh. oh my Marsh. Honestly, just think it just think how Marsh is gonna be in like a couple of years. In person. I'm so proud to call you my sister for life. Aloha like, and kisses, Sasha Cole. The, 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 the level of drag she's a, she's at now and she got in drag race. Just think of when she gets to like a Nitro level or Sasha Colby level. She's gonna be unstoppable. See you again, my sweetheart. Mm, the titties, she drew little boobs. <laughs> Classic. I could just cry. Honestly, I just feel so good and so like happy with everything that I showed. For working in drag for a year and making it to the top seven, that's like not so bananas. She's she's still a baby queen. And the fact that she got to the top seven, that's that's a feat in itself. That's an achievement. Nobody baby, nobody baby queens can say that they can, they've done that. So. I would say the most valuable lesson I learned is that most of the time, if you do something outside of your comfort zone, that you'll probably learn something from it and then move forward with it in your own way. Yeah, like, I, mean, I agree with that. Really, like, the crux of all these critiques, it was just like, we want to see you do something different or something new or something bigger. Like, allow yourself to take up space, allow yourself to be sparkly and to be, you know, all to put on 100 pounds of makeup. Here. It was truly like a magical experience, and I will like never forget being in this room. Make it work, room. <laughs> Hard time gun impersonation. Make it work. In the end, I'm gonna come out so much better. She did quite good with that movement. Uh, an experience like this can transform you. That's real special. And I think I'm going to have a lot of people that really connect to what I did. It's pretty iconic. Hi. Remember, you need 12 hugs a day to truly thrive. Let's go. Is that another Brady Bunch reference? Bye. I don't know, I've never watched an episode, but you know. Well... We made it eventually. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you all think? That was the episode eleven of RuPaul's Drag Race and Untucked. And Marsha, Marsha, Marsha is gone, gone, gone. And now we're down to six. So, who do you think is going to be next to go? And do you think the re results happen this episode? Let me know. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, hit my notification bell down below and also feel free to follow my social media links down below in my description box if you would like to give me some support, I appreciate it. And also, while we were on the subject earlier, I'll also put the link down in block below for the Drag Defense Fund that uh, World of Wonder is sharing to in light of recent events that's happened in places like Texas in America, where it's becoming now illegal for drag artists to work in certain areas, which I find absolutely disgusting that they think that uh, drag is more of a threat to children than guns are. Or priests. Jesus. But, um, yeah. If you would also like to contribute, I will also share the Drag Defense Fund link down below in my description box as, as well. And... With that, this is Reese Spectrum signing out for another episode of Reese Reacts, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Tracking.